So what happened at Unite the Right 2? A massive police presence escorted a handful of white supremacists through a metro station in Virginia. Cameras were everywhere. One guy was arrested for spitting on a Virginia state police officer. That was it, right? That's it? You go home. That's it? After a short ride to DC, a few Nazis actually showed their faces in public. A few hundred anti-fascists hid theirs. Thousands of counter-protesters from diverse backgrounds rallied, chanted, and marched in the streets. Donald Trump, you can't hide. We charge you with genocide. Racist cops, you can't hide. We charge you with genocide. Ain't no power like the power of the people, because the power of the people don't stop. Anytime, any police, you know the end of it. Some groups marched better than others. Stop! Stay tight! What are you doing? Stay tight! Stay tight! Cameras were everywhere, some guy burned a Nazi slash Confederate flag hybrid, and this guy dressed up as Indiana Jones because Nazis. As for the right-wing protests, I have no idea what they said because they were completely drowned out by loud boos and Game of Thrones references. As the rain fell on Lafayette Square, the crowds began to disperse. Most counter-protesters never even saw anyone from the far right at the rally. I saw a few of them on their way out. Uh, there was like a handful of people, that was it. And they have the basic right to protest, we have a right to protest, so we show up with more numbers. They just can't put on a showing like they think they can. I think that they're far outnumbered by the American people. Their movement is basically just incredibly weak and should stop, just stop being Nazis.